Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's series of tech tip videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be discussing our Ecotech boilers and how to check the CO2 levels and the error codes related to combustion issues. Keep in mind, when we talk about combustion testing, we are simply referring to the air-fuel mixture. All we need to know is the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide value. First of all, we will take a quick look at some of the error codes you may see if the air-fuel mixture is not within range. The most common fault you could see would be an ignition fault. If the air-fuel mixture is well out of range, the boiler most likely will not fire, or if it does, the flame signal may be so low the boiler will not stay lit. Other faults that may be caused by improper air-fuel mixture are false flame, flame loss fault, target reduced flue temperature. Now we will take a quick look at our target CO and CO2 for the various fuel types and boiler sizes. Here you can see the values for different models, types of fuels, and high and low fire settings. Next, we want to locate the throttle screw and the offset screw on the gas valve. Keep in mind, we adjust the throttle in high fire and the offset in low fire. If the unit is running on natural gas, no adjustment is needed on the throttle or offset screw to begin testing. For LP gas, make the needed adjustments if this is the first time firing the boiler. It is very important to make these adjustments before firing a unit on LP gas. Now, before we begin the process, initiate a call for heat and make sure all the zones in the space are calling to prevent possibly overheating the unit while in high fire. Next, we want to remove the fluid temperature sensor from its location and insert the combustion analyzer after it has purged. Now, Hold the WM logo for a few seconds, then go to Diagnostics and Factory Test Mode. Next, we want to look at Forced Rate. It will be highlighted and it should say Auto. Push the Edit button, then the Up button until you see High, then press Save. The boiler will ramp up to its high fire setting. Now, observe the CO2 reading on the analyzer. If the CO2 is low, turn the throttle screw counterclockwise. If it's high, go clockwise. Once the high fire setting has been set, push the down arrow button until you see low. Then press save the boiler will ramp down to the low fire setting. Remember, throttle for high fire, offset for low fire. Now, let's look at the low fire readings. Check your CO2 level. If it's high, turn the offset screw counterclockwise. If low, clockwise. Once you have hit the target, Observe the carbon monoxide reading and compare it to the chart. It should be below the maximum CO. Now put the unit back in high fire, recheck the CO2, and observe the CO. It should also be below the maximum listed in the chart. Remember, the carbon monoxide is a maximum level. It is not a target, so as long as you are anywhere below that number, you're all set. Okay, let's put the boiler back in auto firing rate, put the flu temperature sensor back in place, and you're all wrapped up. Remember, 
All of these procedures are detailed in the product manual, so follow the instructions there along with the information in this video and your system will be up and running in top condition. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to keep an eye out for new videos so we can help you keep your customers happy.